Hey everyone, it is Danny Drew and we are back for another game of Catan. Hope you're doing amazing. We are in the second position here. Fun board. All right, so some really big spots here. Six, nine, four, five, nine, ten, eight, four, three. Pile of ore, six, nine, five. Man, it's a clumpy board too. You got the ore. Wow, it's really clumpy. You got the ore clump, the sheep clump, the wood clump, the wheat clumped. Maybe on that basis, honestly, maybe the five, nine, 10 is just the best pick. Like I'm going to get three unique resources, high production, access to a three, one port. And more than likely the eight, 10 is not going to be open. Cause I think whoever takes, Ooh, you see this. Okay. So if someone takes the eight, three, 10, eight, four is open brick port. The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm liking the five, 10, nine. We're taking it. I'm not even thinking about it. It's the it's the best brick, one of the best wheats. We get the sheep, the port. Nobody's going to touch our port. And I think we've actually got the 8-4 in our back pocket. Also, too, we could go wood. Wood mania. I think this brick, this is such a good spot for the, the reasons I kind of already mentioned. But I think the brick is just really useful in this board. If you look how much wood is actually here versus how much brick, it's just a good spot. Just a good spot. I also think you've got to be careful here. I see a big world where somebody might go nine, six, four, nine, ten, maybe play off the sheep port, or whoever takes the eight, three, ten potentially could go nine, ten themselves. So where is black going to go? It's not quite clear. I, I do think picking up the wheat's kind of nice. Uh, one idea you could do is the three, eleven, six, and point left. And the idea is, hey, we're going to pick up the wheat port, which is quite nice. Then we also get that extra, extra brick. So maybe six three eleven here. This makes a lot of sense in my opinion. Nine ten. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, man! And we get access to this here. So like now, if he goes six three eleven, we take the eight ten five and point up. We get the five two, it's five four eleven. High production game. Everything but the ore, but there's a lot of ore in this board. Very interesting pick there by Red. I think my issue with that is the wheat, but there is a lot of wheat on this board, and that that's completely fair. I also like the 6 or 11 for us here. I think we can trade a lot of this brick, get to the wheat port, maybe road row to the 8-4. It's actually really nice for us. It's actually really, really nice for us. And there's so much wood here. Otherwise, we go 5, 8, 10, point up. And I think... This guy has a lot of incentive, to be honest with you, to take the 8-4. Or the 6-2 is not good. 8-4 makes a lot of sense. You got double or double wheat. You're dropping cities quickly. And now if the if the bot's going to place here, then the bot is clearly going to take the 8-10-4. That's okay. Like I said, we can trade this brick all day if we get the 6-3-11. And I'm starting to like this more and more the way I look at it. Ooh. Is that a bot placement? <laughs> oh. my issue is if i go ah uh, shoot my issue is if i go 6 12 11 point up i think this guy just takes the 4 3 11 and then makes that a thing but i like the prospect of getting the wheat port picking up the 4 11 we've got a really good or we cheat game the wheat port sick five twos available to us i just think this makes a lot of sense and like i said the brick look look how much brick we have the 10 and the 11 monster you block the 10, the 11's open. You block the 6, the 5's open. You block the 9. Well, hopefully we'll have the wheat port by then. <laughs> Hope you're doing incredible. I'm excited. This is going to be a great game. It's a wild board. Black is out for blood, clearly. Now, almost everybody's in a position to like have to work with us because we're going to be selling the wheat to red. We're going to be selling the brick to, to black. And now what does white do? Oh. Yeah, I guess so. So in this situation, what I think we'll do is we'll hit him here, him here. I'm happy with this. And I think we can sell the six or the five. I think we can sell it pretty nicely. All right, so we're definitely going to sell a brick here to black. Yep. So he cuts him here, which helps our game immensely. Yeah, we can't give him access to that. Like if we get the eight four, that's massive. I guess I, I didn't really fully see the four eleven. To be clear. I don't think it's winning, though, because you're just porting way too much, in my opinion. So now we have a road in our hand. I cannot sell. I cannot sell the wood. Um, and I have to get the 5-2 at this point. I think losing 
Losing that is just too devastating for us. Now the question is, where do I city? Okay, good, 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 good. I'm not taking your 6-2, brother. I'm not taking that. Now I do think if I get a wood here, I'm going to just bop, bop. This is the road settle, though. It's kind of nice. Um, Alternatively, what I could do is I could sell the brick for a wheat, which I kind of like that. Or a sheet for wheat. Uh, which might actually go to white, but I don't think he should do that. I think that's a little bit careless in his approach. So let's just drop the road. We're going to need the port regardless. And then a six or a five gives us the city, which I'm pretty happy about. And I think we're just going to have to go production. I think the five, ten, nine city, it's really good. We're going to settle here soon-ish. No, our hand's just too good. Our hand is just way too good. So like, what's the threat? What's the threats here, guys? I don't really see many of them, to be honest with you. Red potentially could fight. He could definitely fight for maybe a road game or if he gets fed wheat from white. Oh, and he steals it. What a, what a pluck. What a nice steal. Okay. Imagine if white drops roads in words like this. I'll feel much better if I can just get sheep for wood, maybe. We also get the settle here. All right, so what's in white's hand? Honestly, I think it's white here. Uh, he's got wood. He's got wheat, I believe. A prick. So what we'll do is we'll do something like this, like this. I think this is a pretty good deal for black. Yes, perfect. And now a five is a city. And there's no development cards. Come on, five. Two. We can sell the two as well. So the question is, where do we city? Yeah, I think it's the five, nine, ten. It's just a bigger play, though. Come on, five. I'm feeling lucky today, guys. You got a really good position. Let's go. Let's go. Also, we could do the six, three, eleven, which is the idea that the three is doubled and then the five and the six are doubled. But the only roll there we would actually appreciate is the three if it rolls. I think I could do a sheet for wheat here. He's got two wheat and a wood. Or I can do like a brick. So I can do a brick for wheat here all day. I wish I could ask him for something else. Ultimately, uh, white's going to regret picking the 11-4 here. It's just not strong enough, unfortunately, for them. Fortunate for us. Unfortunate for them. And I think once we city, we're looking very nice. I'd love to have at least a little bit of wood. Like if this was like 11 wood... 100%, 110%, I'd be putting all my money on that city. But in this case, I think we just need to go with the production play. I don't want to do this. This is even a good deal anyways. So we'll go here. <laughs> of course, the 11's probably the, the real... A block of blocks. My next goal here is is two things. Either I go for 8-4, which feels like a lot, pretty big commitment, or I just go for development cards. Yeah, that's the issue with this is the five just becomes very blockable. I think here what I'll do is I'll ask for a brick for wood. The only issue is that this guy probably wants to go road settle. Oh yeah. So I'm really looking at black here uh, or red. Oh my goodness. All right, Brick is on the table. Yeah, maybe I should have gone 6 3 11. I think that probably would have made a little bit more sense. And it really helps my ratios as far as my, my ore. I will say, though, if I get the 8 4, it's lights out. Absolutely. Good job. Oh my God. Just Brick. Brick for days. Yeah, this trade should go through. I think um, a lot of this board is probably incentivized to do that. Nice. Nice, nice. Nicely done. Red's kind of dead. I think we've got a lot of good things here with white. Yeah, and I think what we'll do is we'll buy a development card. Come on, road builder. Yop. I can live with the yop. Yop is great. No cards. Come block the 10. Come block the 6. I have no cards, brother. You, you gotta be paying attention here. Damn. The solo block I don't think is correct. I think and and really in his position he needs to get cards and I think the 6 does a pretty good job for for him. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't seem right to me, but we all make our decisions. So the question is how do I use this yap? I think I'm going to be very patient with it. If I can find a way to get over to if I can find a way to get over to the 8-4 and settle, I think that's just winning for me. 
I really do. Brick for wood is kind of nice. Should be able to do wood and wheat trades here all day. Black is not with us currently. Rest in peace. Now the question is, do I use the yacht for the city? Because I mean, we already have the port. Getting the 8-4 is a big win though. There might be a world where we get that. Like what, we need two roads and a settle. So in nine, maybe we can do it. So in nine, maybe we can sell. I think here, the sheep's not bad. So maybe we can do something like this. And this actually gives us the road road settle. Let's wait for black to come back in here. So the five gives it to us. Damn it. Well, at least we're not going to get solo blocked here. I think the nine or the 10 is fine. The six is not bad as well. Bad timing. I was trying to make a deal and then he, uh, clearly he left. That's fine. That is fine. Expected. Certainly expected. Yeah, I think that's a good block. You know, it, it does hurt white. Oh my God. You're going to settle on the five and you're going to look silly. Jesus Christ. Yes. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. Now a 10 comes in. I think we can make some, some things work here. Two wood is really good for us here. He's going to take it because no one else will. Oh, the pressure. The pressure. No. All right, screw it, I'm taking this. Screw it, I'm taking it. It's too good for us not to take. We get the pop too. So I think a 10 is the road road settle, right? Because we can turn the wheat into a card. I think black should take this in a heartbeat. There we go. I do now. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. I mean, I've practically given him a city. Black's not even doing bad now. That's the funny thing here. Okay, so we have a pop in our hands. That's really good. We've got to get this nine unblocked and we got to start putting pressure on Black. Doing actually very well here. You know, you got to give him credit very, very well. And I think the eight's got to go. Luckily, I do think there's a world where potentially he takes road. Hopefully we can just give road to red. Like we'll just play a really strong development card game here. It's looking good now. It's looking very good. Nice. So let's pop here. Ah, another one, another, I need cards. How am I not getting knights? Like if he starts popping here, I'm in trouble. I'm in desperate trouble here. Yeah, like that's trouble too. I need some rolls, guys. Nice, nice, okay, this is good. This is good. And hopefully this gives us a little bit of room to work here. Nice. So what do we do here? Do we buy a city or do we pop twice? I think if we can pop twice, that's very good for us. The city's not bad either. Puts us at six. And then from there, we're just like deving our, our butts out. Let's get the city. I think the city's correct. So the question is, where do we go? And I think it's the eight, four. Six or 11 is not bad either. I think it's just the eight, four here. And now the, the eights and fours. And hopefully this leaves our five alone. And now we can just focus on dropping cities. Perfect. Leave me alone. Don't take the wheat. Okay, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Eight and five is another city. Eight is another city. Nice, nice, okay. I actually don't agree with this. I actually think it, it needs to be on uh, black here. 
So nine, nine, ten, two, eleven. Okay, we we take this and we need a pop here. We need a VP or something. Finally, a knight. Jesus Christ. All right, play knight red. Oh man, black is crushing us now. Nice, nice, okay. I'm okay with this. As long as he takes road, I'm okay with this. So let's buy another development card. We're just gonna try to stay off the radar here. No cards, baby. We really struggled to get some like good rolls. I mean, we've actually just been buying all these development cards from our, our brick, which is wild. So what does he have? He has he has two wood in his hand. So I don't think he has winning rolls. Don't take the brick. The brick is the problem here. All right, he got a wood. All right, no winning rolls. It's got to be on the eight here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We need you to ask for trades. Go, 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 go. Eight would be magical here. We can pop twice, which is actually really, really good for us. Oh, you greedy. You greedy. No, we need... Oh. We're just not getting good rolls. It's like we can't get any of the ore. No, don't pop. Don't... Oh. <laughs> No. Come on, eights. Eights and nines. We need we just need better rolls. Okay, that's something. It's also something. Gotta extend. That's fine. Nice, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Road builder. Oh my goodness. We have nowhere to go though. That's the problem. We have nowhere to go. So what if we connect? So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we can manufacture three roads, we can win. Alternatively, we could also road settle here. Is that kind of, that's kind of funny. All right, five or six gives us nine points. Oh my goodness. We have nowhere to go to but the 11, 12. Nice. Not nice. Okay. We have a wood and a card. We need the 11, 12 so bad. 
that's like our only winning that's our true only winning play right so like a five five is winning five is winning oh my goodness Ten is winning. All right, five is winning. Nine is winning. Two is winning. Ten is winning. S Eleven is winning. Four is not winning. All right, come on, survive. Does he have road settle? Does he have it? He's he's super close. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, he road settled. He's off a card. Don't you dare be wasting our time here, Black. It's got to be on the eight. Nine. All right, five is winning. Oh, damn it. Do we pull, guys? Oh, let's go! Yes! Oh my goodness. Damn. Damn, wild game. You know, you just gotta stay in it, guys. You know, when you have moments where things are going your way and you get frustrated, either you walk away or you just say, hey, you know what? It's a new game. I'm going to reset and make the most of this moment. Black, Black must have been hella close because they essentially were staring at a settle with five cards. You have to imagine if they're like one or two cards off, most likely. So congratulations to them. They played very well. And I played with fire because I more or less gave them the city that gave them the momentum, right? When I did that deal to get me to the 8-4, I was playing with fire, but I think it was kind of worth it. Yeah, it's a sick position. I, I think we we considered all the variables really nicely. Also, feeding black the 9-10, I kind of like that. The spirit of it's really nice in terms of, hey, just kind of slowing down wide a bit. And yeah, the 8-4 is sick. 8-4 is really like, it's just money for us. Let's go look at the Rob stats. Nice, nice. Look at those nines. You gotta love two nines, but then the twos, the threes, the twelves. Just a wild dice game. And clearly a lot of things in our favor. Production was great. We did get robbed the most, which I think was was acceptable in a lot of cases. We also asked for the most trades. Nothing new there, of course. I really think the board played it well, and they also did a really good job trying to balance it out. I do think a few blocks, like for instance, I got solo blocked with no cards. Didn't make a lot of sense uh, just because I think in Black's position earlier, they, they probably needed some cards to kind of keep their game moving. And also I already have wheat, right? You block the five, the six rolls and vice versa. So probably better to put a little bit more pressure on things like the nine, maybe even the three. The three's not bad just because it is my or roll. Solo blocking and not getting a card in that position is is a little bit suboptimal, shall we say. Pull's nice. Guys, if you're appreciating this channel, if you're appreciating what we're doing here, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep going. You're all amazing. And other than that, I think everyone played well. Kudos. I think Red did actually. They did all right. But the issue with Red's setup is that it's a pacing problem. Right? They're not getting army because they need to spend all this time road settling, getting to the, getting to the wheat. But by the time they get there, it's probably a little bit too late. I do think white got a little bit too creative too. Probably better to go 8-4, try to play a production game. Yes, the 11-4 does take advantage of your wheat, but then what are you going to be porting for? Or you might as well just go pick it up in the first place. Funny game. And how do they do? They did get to 8 points, so they're sitting with something. I think if it's a knight, then they should have played it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Danny Drew, another one in the book, Sally Apples. Might be the last game of Sally. You'll see around here for a little bit. I guess we'll see. Appreciate you. And you take care.